Good morning. It is Friday, October 11th. The hurricane is gone. Thank goodness, because I don't like them. <laughs> I've lived here in my whole life and I don't like them. I can't be more grateful that this is my current reality and my family's fine. My friends are safe. My like immediate surroundings, like there was no major damage and that it was just a lot less worse than they thought it was going to be. I know that like my current experience isn't the same for everybody in Florida and I truly heart goes out to all that uh, lost a lot because I was so scared the whole time so I can't imagine being in the thick of it. Uh, where it was worse than it was for us because that was so not fun. It felt like I was just having an anxiety attack under the surface all night long and it just was so slow moving and weird that, yeah, it like we just had one and now there was this one. So glad that it is Friday, it is October 11th and I haven't worked in two days so that is still able to happen because our city didn't see the worst of it and I yeah just feeling extremely grateful and how many times can I say that I just don't have another word because that's it so I feel weird getting back to work when there's still so much going on around me like there is every day in the world because it's chaotic but I am just messy and terrible <laughs> but this just touching down on us, it just feels weird to like immediately snap back into selling small business mode. So I'm trying to give myself some grace because that was a lot for me. It just really stressed me out. Um, so to now be on the other side, I feel like I just need to take it slow today. And I do think that working and stuff will help like clear my head. Uh, so I am glad to do it but I also just don't want to like overwork myself and almost reverence is the only word I can think of for it but and not like appreciate but just like sit with the fact of like we all just like went through this thing and like I know like our power is back on you know we lost it and like our homes are fine but it's like I just want a moment to like realize like this was a really big scary thing that we just did and just sit with that for a second so I um, feel like I'm in the midst of that now and just like not putting too much pressure on myself today and just doing what I can with what I've got so the what I can do is organize all of this stuff into what's going to my pop-up shop what's coming to my market because I need to price and like label all the stuff that would go to my pop-up shop and I just want to get that out of the way so that I can make that trip tomorrow and then everything else will come on Sunday with me. My wonky talkers did enjoy their little first dibs shopping and I will ship those out on probably Monday or Tuesday just so I can focus on market prep this weekend. And I think I just have to add my shop cups, which turned out so cute. Honestly, when I was glazing them, I was like, these are the worst things ever. I don't know why I did this. I should probably just take the glaze off and stop. But I didn't. And I'm so glad because they actually do really, like, in my head, represent just some of my favorite little experiences I've had in some really great spots around town and I'm so glad that I did it again I had this idea in like January and it just had to brew quietly under the surface for nine months was that math yeah but here we are so I did take pictures of everything I just need to put those ones on square because those are the ones that I forgot but the kiln unload on 
Tuesday did go well. This is the glaze that Blick sent me a while ago to like review, which I need to remember to review it on their website. But honestly, I'm pleased. I did low fire some too. I made candlestick holders and I need to find the white one. I made white full fire version. So when it's actually fired low, it's not glossy, it's matte. But I actually love the glossy, especially because my clay is like speckly. It lets the speckles shine through and it painted well and it's so smooth and my clay loves it. So we'll definitely be doing that or using that more. I've got it here too. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. The matte black is really cool too. I will go grab one. Oh, here it is. Here's the white. It's cute. It's just matte white. We love it. I made these for the winter time and thought I would need them when we lost power. This is the matte black. It's cute. So there were a couple things that the glaze, I don't think I mixed it well because it was like plasticky almost and it like crawled. I'm going to see if I can maybe remedy it with this glaze on top, which is the other one that I mixed. You win some, you lose some. There's maybe like four pieces that I used the glaze on and now I feel way ready. I sanded everything and I should probably just uh, rinse and wipe them down one more time because some of them just have some of the sanding debris on them. But that is the first task today is inputting those into Square and then I need to edit and get my iPad ready with like my favorites for easy checkout in Square and then pack as much as I can and also be decisive with what goes into my pop-up shop and what doesn't. That's probably going to be the hardest part of the day. But here we are. It's after nine, I think, and I am happy to be here at my desk with all my stuff doing what I like to do. So I'm going to do that and we'll be in touch. So much stuff. I don't know what I'm doing and I do think my niece is joining me so I may need to practice this setup which means clearing off all of the shelves because I use one of them for my setup and pretending I have a six foot table up here when I don't. It's with my husband in our car at his job. <laughs>
Hello, good morning. It is 7.45. My husband and niece are still sleeping and I just woke up to have a little quiet morning to myself before a very long day. Most of the stuff is in the car. I just need to pack the shelves and my bin of supplies and then we'll be good to go. My niece made some very cute things that I will show you now. And then I'm just going to eat and hang out. But so cute. And then I gave this cup for her to paint. <laughs> so she has different like Halloween scents essential oils that you can put on here and put it in your car as an air freshener which is a very good idea um so can't wait to shop small with her today um yeah I'm honestly feeling very tired and I literally woke up to my period, so maybe not the best day for a market, but it's gonna happen. And that's probably why I was like, I need to have like chill time before we have to like go. So here I am doing just that. I'll see you at the market. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the day after the market. It is a Monday and I'm packing up these wonky tonk orders so I figured I would give my little baby market review. <laughs> I learned a lot yesterday. It was a doozy for sure. I will try and make this short and sweet but I guess a few takeaways for me. One, I don't think that I want to do six hour markets anymore. As great as it is to like be a part of a big event and with like a bunch of vendors and like a whole day affair, it was just really exhausting. And honestly, after a certain point, I don't know how many people are actually like shopping. So I'm glad that my next couple of markets are like three hours each, I believe, maybe four. And that feels like the sweet spot for me. So that was one thing I just learned about myself and what I want from like my market journey. Another is that I'm so glad and grateful that I can create space for my niece to like do her little thing. She sold some stuff. She honestly got to ride the highs and lows of being at a market. She wasn't with me the whole time, but yeah, she just got to see that sometimes people walk past and they don't buy anything or even say anything. They don't pick up your work. And then sometimes they're like giddy about it and want to know everything. And it's a ride and she's only nine. But the fact that I'm able to bring her to these things and she can experience that is something I really do treasure. And I hope helps her in the long run decide if like in her future what she wants and if this is something that she would want to do. So that was really awesome. Another thing I learned is that markets are kind of a gamble. You either make what you thought you'd make or you don't or you make more than that. And there's really no telling which one it'll be. 
And that's kind of hard to rely on unless you're doing like a million markets, which I am not. And that kind of leads into the other thing that I learned, which is I don't know if I actually want to make a full time living off of my ceramics simply because I do think that it would mean I have to make a lot more stuff. And right now I feel like I'm making a great amount of work. I'm proud of what I'm making. I enjoy what I'm making and I don't feel like overworked or burnt out or whatever by like my actual like ceramics process. And so I can't really imagining or I can't really imagine like double or tripling that and being okay. So I got another part-time job. Call me crazy, I know, but this one actually makes so much more sense for me, at least in my heart, gut, mind, soul, (laughs) and I think will be really beneficial for my life, my work, my bank account, etc. I'm going to be a barista a couple days a week, making the coffee, mixing the matcha, doing all the things, and I think it will be the like social outlet that I need, the for me since I'm like spending all this time at home like trying to figure this out and like figure out what it means for me to like be a business in my third year where do I want to go how am I growing like there's just so much and I need to step away and I spent the summer alone I got right back to it in September and spent more time alone figuring this out And I just need to be out in the world not thinking about it and thinking about something else, learning something new, using my brain in a totally different way and going from there. I think it will only help me realize what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I want to grow. I think I just want to grow like deeper, not necessarily like bigger, wider. I want to develop my skills more. I want to find like more of myself in my work And I don't know if I want to bump up production because I think that will take me away from what I love and I want to enjoy what I'm doing. And I think that's why I'm having such a hard time, like actually making a living doing this because I hoard (laughs) my, not hoard, I have walls up around my craft that I don't want to tear down because it's special to me. And I think I'm just maybe realizing that it's okay that I feel that way and it's okay if it doesn't become that for me. And so I now have a new job that hopefully will allow me to kind of like how painters take a step back from their work to view it. And I think that this will allow me that moment and I'm really grateful for that. So that's my update and that's my market day journey. It really was a whirlwind. I had gotten the whole job thing situated like the night before the market, so it didn't really have much to do with that, but or how the day went, but more so was just like a general way that I was feeling and I'm glad that I realized it and took the steps to make something happen. So you'll still see me here making all the things and I can't wait to keep it up. So I have two more markets coming. I'm very excited for them and I hope this found you well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.